Rise and shine, dipsticks. Today we're going to be talking about what it was like to grow up in Newcastle, where seeing sights like this doesn't really surprise you anymore. And I bet you sitting there have probably got Newcastle in your Instagram bio, even if you're from Shields or Washington. You thieving little b The first thing I'd like to bring up is when you see Geordie girls who like to call themselves princesses. But I don't know about you, but I can't remember Cinderella taking bubble in the toilets at Purdue. And since it's summer, you'll be walking down Northumberland Street to see a bunch of lads looking like this, doing the shuffle to a beatboxing Spider-Man. But you kind of stare at them for too long due to small foreign ladies trying to sell you the big issue on every freaking corner. But you know the biggest issue of your day is when you're on the metro and you're going over the bridge and you're deciding with your mates, do we get off at Monument or here, Margaret? And after getting off the metro at any stop, at my age or younger, you'll spend your whole day kicking your chew and go up in the air, shouting she And then you walk through Hippie Green, getting stared at like you're the weird one. And I don't know about you, but I didn't realise that when you start working at Top Top Palace, you instantly become a celebrity. Sign us up. But when you went to this place, you felt like a celebrity. But you didn't go on the kamikaze, did you? Because rumour has it, some smackered stuck nails in the bottom of it. And I've seen Wet and Wild have got an offer on at the minute too. So you get 10% on the way in and a tetanus jab on the way out. The nail bloke is probably the same bloke who's asking you for 5p every five minutes because he now has some last that's given birth in Hollypool. Now in primary school in Newcastle, everyone was always losing their jumpers. But there was one way that you could realise which jumper was yours. Simply sniff them all to see which one smells as bad as you. Then when you got home from secondary school, you'd put a like for something status on. And for the people that liked it that you didn't really know, everyone would respond the same way. You're canny and funny. Because you live by your nana's motto, shy Ben's getting out. And if you ask for a triple vodka and coke anywhere else in the world, they'll look at you like the bus driver looks at you when you give him a tenner. But if you ask for one in Newcastle, why I mate, you fancy three for a fiver. Another struggle growing up in Newcastle is trying to buy a Mother's Day card. That says mum. Because everyone watching this video knows anyone who calls the mum mum just cannot be trusted really. And on Mother's Day, everyone would be round. Including your auntie. Well she wasn't really your auntie. She was just your mum's mate who would come round more often than the others to get off her face. So if you had a little crease at this video, I appreciate everyone who shares it. And uh, I season a bit. Oh, oh, oh my lord, oh my god, that girl she trying to go. Any hour, any minute, man, she down the road. Well, if your mate told you to jump off the time bridge, would you? No, mother, you're probably right, I wouldn't. 